You see the title, but no one's time me looking into it, man. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I ain't even plan. Damn, be buffet, boy. I plan on making this video next. But after seeing the end of the Hashira Trainer arc, bruh, I had to come back with some more Demon Slayer. I'm not even gonna waste y'all time. This video's been overdue, and I had way too much fun making it. So let's get into it. Oh yeah, bro. Oh yeah, let's get into it, bro. Let's let's get into it. No need for the intro. Taste on tank. Taste on that forehead. Deep forest. Don't no, wanna waste no time here. We're trying to get into it, man. All right, so we pick up right where we left off in the forest with Tanjiro calling the ice on his fat forehead demon. Warning to the people watching this. Re you watching this reaction? I hate when these goofballs like make these videos and they put like uh pop popular songs as the background instrumental. Bro, I'm finna be zoning out. I'm finna be vibing to the track and end up not even reacting to the video or like, uh, you feel me? Uh, yeah, zoning out because I'm busy listening to the background music because it's too hard. The size of Kevin Hart and times you up with chorus with. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna try to like All it. Alright, so we pick up right where we left off in the forest with Tanjiro calling the ice on his fat forehead demon the size of Kevin Hart. And Tanjiro was on his ass. Throwing at his Hall of Fame chase down artist badges, maxed out. And just like a child predator in Walmart, Tanjiro catches Hantanko. <laughs> went straight for the dome, going at this man's head like a lumberjack. And Hantanko don't know what to do. He just screaming to the sweet Lord Jesus that plot will somehow bail him out this situation. Bro, please, bro. But it's not looking too good for the boy because it seemed like Tanjiro is well on his way to sending this nigga to go moonwalk with Michael Jackson. But before he can even finish the job, he gets interrupted by the big drop, D block stepper of all demons, Duke Dennis. Oh, fuck. And Tanjiro didn't even have to turn around to know he fucked up. He could just feel the back shots to this man's aura penetrating every. What the hell, man? What the f. Oh, no. Chill out, bro. Just, just react to the video and finish it. Free fiber of his being, no diddy. So, bro, just started sweating bullets like Rod Wave after walking up a flight of stairs and immediately shits himself. <laughs> what is that? Something's behind me. Joy, anger, sorrow, pleasure. This doesn't smell like any of them. What do I do? So Tanjiro's mid-swing facing the hardest decision of his entire life. The universe basically gave this man the ultimate ultimatum and was like, Hey Tanjiro, you're four inches deep inside of Zendaya, but LeBron's four inches deep inside of you. Are you moving forward or backwards first? Me personally, I already know which way I'm going, but Tanjiro was just like, Hey, got to see it through my boy. Why am I thinking about this? Oh, bro, this finny is like, Obviously, it's gonna be like, bro. You can't even say it's not pause. Why is LeBron four inches deep in you, bro? It doesn't make no sense. So, like this whole situation, this whole situation is just pause, and it's like, like you gotta have one answer to it. It's like, bro, I'm gonna move backwards first. It's gonna be painful. I'm a straight nigga. I don't like you for me. I don't like for me. Yeah, a D, a, a D, a wiener out my my ass cheeks. I don't like that. But it's like, bro, you move back forward, it's going to be trauma, torture, whatever. But the minute you move forward, the minute you move forward, or the, the, or it's either they're talking about like, you got to move. You got to choose one movement. You can't go backwards and forwards. You got to go one way. Obviously, if it's one way, I'm going to move forward. But if it's like, but what? What is the reason for this question, bro? Who the fuck came up with this question? Like, what? Wh what is the point of it? If you move forward, then what happens? I don't know. Like, what the fuck is the whole point of this? This, this, ah, bro. This man, y'all niggas becoming one of the most stupidest things ever out here. Man. And was locked in on be heading hot tangle, thinking that if he got him up out of there, the demon behind him would just like magically disappear or something. His neck's too hard. I can't slash any further, and the power up from Nezuko's blood just ran out. I'm cooked. Tanjiro, get down! I have a shot! But that don't even matter. Tanjiro already hit. He knows off rip he made the wrong call and Ganya can't even let a shot off the blick without hitting the collat on both him and the demon. So while this is going on, Bro just spawns in a whole BBC dildo from his right hand and goes on the offensive. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. <laughs> So Dog completely levels the entire area and uses Woodstyle Jutsu to summon five versions of Teemu Blue Eyes White Dragon. And Tanjiro's just holding on for dear life because these dragons on him. How the fuck is this nigga holding on or does he got like them? Bro, 
This man literally got no grip on that bit. Pause. I don't even know if that's pause. So Dog completely levels the entire area and uses wood style jutsu to summon five versions of Teemu Blue Eyes White Dragon. And what is he gripping here, bro? He's literally not gripping shit. Like this shit is so is, is smooth, man. Like what? For dear life. Or like some type of like, I don't know. Say so he got some type of power. Where like he just he, he, like he's able to stick to the wall. Something like that. I don't know. These dragons on him. Yeah. He's mid air spamming the fuck out of his circle button, dodging, ducking, and weaving out the way of all these attacks. Until one of the dragon heads comes through with his mouth open wide as hell, looking like a hungry, hungry hippo ready to swallow this man whole. But luckily for Tanjiro, Nezuko swooped in like Captain Save a the last second to prevent this man's legs from being chopped off. Cause if she weren't there, bro would have had to pull up to the high school training arc and straight prosthetics looking like these. <laughs> and before. Pull up to the high school training arc and straight prosthetics looking like these. My nigga, I look at you. <laughs> hey, man, we, we still hit it, bro. We still hit it. And before anybody in the comments asks, <laughs> Wood. Are you serious, my brother? <laughs> I can't even be surprised if you like, oh, my leg, that, like, be like disappointed in him, like. This bar starving like nigga. I at least you just said it, nigga. I'll hit too. I don't even want to hear it. I'm not trying to hear it. none y'all gotta say. Cause I know most of y'all degenerate ass niggas would too. So leave me alone. <laughs> But anyways, these two both land on the ground pretty hard, so Tanjiro rushes over to make sure Nezuko's good. Nezuko, are you okay? And then they look up just to see this goofy goober ass nigga with his back turned to the camera trying his hardest to get an off guard for the ground. Like, <laughs> yes bro, we see the VLON logo. Relax. There are literally no holes in the vicinity. I promise you are not getting any poom poom from any of the activities that occur in this forest. Chill. Hey nah, quick side note, the VLON era from a few years back has got to be some of the funniest shit ever niggas used to is that nigga having a conversation with that shawty while like not facing her hey nah quick side note the VLON era from a few this some diabolical work right here years back has got to be some of the funniest shit ever niggas used to get VLON to turn they back on the entire world was legit out here taking booty pics just to show off that logo it's me i'm nigga <laughs> But anyways, I don't know what demon's doing their free time, but my man's right here must have been going to school to get his PhD in gaslighting because he just got to talking about some You brutal fiends who torment the weak. You atrocious, offensive, despicable creatures. Man, what the fuck? Who, who made that boy mad? Attacking someone so small they could fit in the palm of your hand. Damn you, you awful villains. And Tanjiro's just standing <laughs> over there in utter shock listening to this man yap like, Bro, is this nigga stupid? <laughs> Is it fuck me for like they literally pulled up to our village to box with us bro has to have the iq of a q-tip eh he's probably just mad because he's short you know short people are always angry yep. so if you forgot or you just wondering where the short king came from this is actually just the ultimate version of Pontangle's anger demon who hit a pokemon evolution to transform into captain cornball after glizzy goblin and other demons and now he's just posted up what was that brain rot explanation like an Elden Ring boss ready to run a fade. So he just starts wrapping Kaisenat in a wooden ball to protect him. Hold it! Oh, I'm sick. The sheer aura from this man's glance alone got Tanjiro standing there like an NPC. Out there looking like little baby old press triangle to interact face ass. So after this, these boys proceed to have an extended yap session where they just get to roasting each other. Aww, is the widow demon slayer scared? What's wrong? You telling me you got that fat ass Jimmy Neutron forehead, but couldn't even think about using your manners before yelling at a superior being like me? <sighs> Less from a child. <laughs> I know you ain't talking. You a thousand years old and short as hell. I bet you can't even touch rim. <laughs> Oh, you talking to me? My fault. I couldn't focus. I was distracted by that old ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it as hairline. Look, I can put the logo right there. <laughs> it's not that bad, that bro. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Bro, there's worse than airlines in anime, bro. Come uh, on. I'm loving it as hairline. Look, I can put the logo right there. <sighs> That's a stretch and you know it, bro. You know that's my scar. That's a stretch and you know it, bro. You know it's my scar. <laughs> so after that got done, one of the dragons speed with his time drone to beat this man into the air. There's five wooden dragon heads and they can expand to about 66 feet. If I'm gonna get close, I need to... Hinakami Kaku! Clear blue!
Man, play that sexy red. Whoa, play that. Oh, my eardrums burst again. What is with this nigga and listening to sexy red? Yo, this is where I'm playing with that girl, it's man. Like a in 2024. It's not looking too good, bro. This is like the fifth Sonic Boom Attack Tanjiro's gotten hit with tonight alone. And this shit got him dizzy as hell like he drank something that was offered to him by Rick Ross. Huh. And my man didn't even get a chance to recover before one of the dragons made a beeline straight for him. Tanjiro dodges, but not before getting his ankle broke like he was trying to guard Damn. Hurry. And now he's just running for his life off straight adrenaline, fucked up ankle and all, because Super Nigga turned into the Avatar, master of all four elements. He is throwing the entire kitchen sink at him. DK These attacks are relentless. Like, dog one time to get time to draw a chance to pop a mini, put on a med kit, nothing. Got this man running away from attacks quicker than Dr. Disrespect runs into the DMs of minors. I can't help. Yeah, it's gonna be a long year with these fucking jokes, man. I these attacks anymore. Even if I anticipate them, I can't catch my breath. But if I can somehow get 66 feet away, I'll be out of his attack range. I can do this. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it was at this moment he knew he fucked up. <laughs> Help me! So the wooden dragon head just full on extends like Mr. Fantastic and throws Tanjiro in the air. And Tanjiro tries using the breathing technique to break free, but before he can even finish, one of the dragons just swallows him whole. Ah! Nezuko and Genya are in complete shock because they think the series might be ending early. But it turns out Tanjiro's alive inside the dragon's guts, but he's slowly getting crushed to death by his gorilla grip coochie. And it looked like the entire. Yo, we literally. We are literally. Seven minutes into the video, eighteen hours. Oh my goodness, man! Finna be saying some out, out of pocket things for eighteen minutes. Oh man. I gotta get a job, man. Her gang is on the verge of seeing game over screens in real life until out of nowhere, Mitsuri shows up majestic as fuck. Huh? Love breathing, fourth form. Jared McCain. So she ends up saving Tanjiro, and I'll tell y'all right now, I have never been more jealous seeing a nigga get a piggyback ride in my entire life. Kanroji pulled up. Piggyback ride, nigga, I'm trying to fuck. You trying to get a piggyback? What the, the hell are you talking about? No time by immediately speed blitzing the demon. Hit a quick move and about, just boy? lasso dog like she was at the rodeo like. Gotcha, bitch. He hit this man's head backwards, giving him and two of the other dragons three cases of lifelong advanced CTE. Hey, this has gone too far. Give me back Nezuko and Genya now. Huh? You talking to me? Yeah. Who else could I be talking to? What you're doing is evil and way out of line. I'm not gonna tell you. She thick, but she chatting too much though. Again, give me my friends back now. <laughs> mm, nah, only fans detected. Opinion rejected. <laughs> Don't tell me anything nobody will find out. And you're selling it for 50% off already? <laughs> Business must not be booming like you thought it would, huh? How sad. Thought you could just wave your little Sydney Sweeney's in the camera and the money would start rolling in, huh? That's not at all what- How did you- I mean, if you needed the extra cash, I hear McDonald's is always hiring. I actually have the job application right here if you want it, you Man, give me that application, bro. Hey, man. Yo, so bro. So, so Captain Cornball's literally just <laughs> roasting the fuck out of Conroji for looking like she got her OnlyFans. And she wasn't finna let that shit slide at all, so she started getting active in the field like she was playing Madden. Girlie legit had a counter for every attack Bros throwing at her and was spamming love breathing techniques one after the other just going crazy. And Conroji's finally able to get close after hitting his dash animation and has her blade wrapped around this nigga's neck looking like she's ready to decapitate him. But only Tanjiro Pizzo she finna get hit with. So Bro just starts charging his attack. Mitsuri sees this and she was like, it looks like he's charging up something big, but as long as I can decapitate him, I'll be Okay, Miss Conroji, that's not the main body. Look up. <laughs> and I don't even gotta tell y'all that attack hurt. Got Conroji out there looking like her controller batteries died mid fight. And even Hantangu surprised she survived getting hit at point blank range with that attack because of her muscle density. So off rip, he knows this is top tier. Nah, they knew what the hell they were doing animating her like that, bro. What is this? Nah, I ain't got no problem with it. See, I ain't got no problem with seeing some meeks, but come on, bro. They knew what the hell they were doing with this. Oh my goodness. I know a certain website, man, them boys, I know they already made multiple videos about this little character, bro. And you know what type of videos I'm talking about. I'm not gonna like it. Try to, yeah. If you're not tapped in, like I, I, bro, I just think about this. 
No, let me tell you something. This is going to be fucked up. Or it's going to be funny. I discovered their website out of all places on this earth or internet. Facebook. Under comments. It's literally a meme. It was a meme. And then the goofball talking about like, I know this web. I know on this website they already made these type of videos about this character. I'm like, what the hell that nigga talking about? I get on that bit. Obviously, for, for research purposes. Pause, bro. I see 10 inch wieners on, on, the, on, the, on the female character. I'm like, oh, man. What the hell y'all niggas be watching out here, bruh? Point blank range without attack because of her muscle density. So off rip, he knows this is top tier snow and he got a munch on it. So he's going on speed blitz his Khan Rosie, cocking his fist back far as hell, getting ready to hit her with the meanest 200 pump of all time. But before he can, we get interrupted by backstory no jutsu where we get to find out about Khan Rosie's life. And unlike other demon slayers, her family's actually alive. They ain't get packed up by <laughs> demons, she had a pretty good childhood, and her parents actually love her. I know it's gotta be like 50,000 OnlyFans girls at home punching their screens right now. They can't <laughs> but anyways, Tanjiro, Nezuko, and Genia swooping at the last second to prevent Kanroji from joining Rengoku in Hashira Heaven. So now Mitsuri's posted up for round two with the power of friendship and backstory no jutsu on her side. Yeah. And y'all already know, these is the two key ingredients any anime character needs to start cooking. She immediately got like a plus 30 boost to all her stats, slicing through all the bro attacks with ease. Mm. And now that Kanroji's running the ones with Captain Cornball. Bro, where's the main character, bro? We forgot about Tanjiro. Oh, uh, don't tell me. Uh. Please do not tell me this one of the enemies were like it's it's they win with the power of friendship. Ah, oh, they like milking that shit, bro. I'm tired of that, bro. I'm not a little kid no more. Are you oh the, this the best enemy, the power of friendship? I have friends, I relate. My nigga. Lone wolf status out here, man. Come she on, man. She sends the rest of the gang on a mission to hunt down the main body. So these three are just running through the forest looking for Hantangu. And after a while, Tanjiro's able to sniff out his musty ass who's still hiding in a wooden ball. They start attacking it, but the tree bark is tough. They can't even slash through it with their swords. So this is when Genya decides to turn into Phantom and starts devouring everything in sight. And with the powers he got from eating the blue light skin Riz Demon earlier, he was able to completely <laughs> bust through it like Pac Man okay. and send the end of it tumbling to the ground. Mm. Then Nezuko lights that motherfucker on fire with Blood Demon Art. And Tanjiro's able to land a few critical hits with his healing. Kami Kagura to open it up. But the only issue is, when they look inside, oh. that nigga Hantangu is nowhere to be found. Oh. What the hell? Bruh. Look at this dude. <laughs> Tanjiro sees Hantangu and gets to tweaking out on this man, bruh. But Hantangu's not trying to stick around and hear any of it. Dog is full on doing the dash. He running away from these boys the same way Discord mods run away from taking showers. So Genya throws a tree. Yes, a motherfucking tree at this nigga. And he somehow dodges. Then Nezuko swoops in trying to slash the STDs off this man's forehead. But Hantangu was just like, Yeah, we quit on that, buddy. And got the fuck is that di diabolical creature? What the hell is this? These off this man's forehead, but Hantango was just like, yeah, yeah, buddy. And got right back to skedaddling through the forest. Bruh, Ugh. I'm convinced this little nigga gotta be related to Tyree Kill or something, cause they're both short, fast as fuck, and have terrible haircuts. He got Tanjiro, Nezuko, and Genya in hell trying to keep up with him. And not to mention, bro's ankle just gave out. Ah, got this man out here hitting poses like he's trying to qualify for the Paris Olympics. So y'all, check me out. With a messed up ankle, there's no way Tanjiro's gonna be able to catch up to Hantangu, right? Mm. Y'all, I think it's about time I start a new saying. Finna go something like, when in doubt, backstory no jutsu without. Cause out of nowhere, Tanjiro gets a whole flashback about Zenitsu look- oh, here go, here we go with this, boo. Loosely teaching him the basics of thunder breathing. And with this knowledge, bro is legit able to turn into the flash, zoom past- Nezuko and Genya, and with this knowledge, bro is legit able to turn into the Flash, zoom past what Nezuko and Genya, and run up on Hantangu like a crackhead running up to you at the gas station for change. Okay! I'm not going out, bro. No glaze. Oh, fuck. Here's the problem for me, bro. Because I react to anime content or like these anime recap videos, I can't, I'm not able to watch the anime. Because if I watch the anime, the reaction to the recap videos is finna be lame. I'm fit like it's matter what just me just watching re-watching the, the episode again, like oh oh yeah, that happened. Dang, it was tough here. Like for me, a reaction like that is lame as hell. So that's why like you be thinking that I already watched the anime, like why is this nigga over here reacting? Nigga, I haven't seen this. I haven't seen it because that's to me, bro. 
if I'm right into like these type of re recap uh, videos, it's better if I give like a, a first time reaction to the shit. Cause for me, I don't know, that's for me, bro. I'm not able to, I, I, I'm not, I don't know how to fake reactions. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I, I can't. So, yo, bro, like, all of a sudden, this man know how to, I don't remember that, that episode where, like, this goofo was teaching him how to move fast. Because out of nowhere, Tanjiro gets a whole flashback about Zenitsu loosely teaching him the basics of thunder breathing. And with his knowledge, bro is legit able to turn into the Flash, zoom past Nezuko and Genya, and run up on Tangle like a crackhead running up to you at the gas station for change. Tanjiro's at his neck and Hantangu's just screaming for his life. And he realizes that if he don't do something quick, he's cooked. So like Bruce Jenner, he said he gonna fuck around and switch. Legit turn from a 2mm short king to Victor Wembanyama 2.0. And he immediately got to trying to choke the life out of Tanjiro and bro's just astonished. So Genya runs up trying to save the day, but just ends up getting them both blasted with mid again. <sighs> So then Nezuko pulls up, yeah. lights his ass on fire, and they're able to rip his arms off. And Tanjiro's still trying to take Hantangu's head during all of this, but he can't slash all the way through because this man's neck is thicker than Kirsten Tusui. Ooh. But anyway, yeah. Hantangu gets to run. That one I will accept it because if you meet, it's not some post things. I like I like what I saw with the picture, and I like what I hit. I heard. Don't be for don't be in the comments talking about like oh, oh you like the way he says it. Fuck. Folks, this man's neck is thicker than Kirsten too. Mm. That's some good meat right there. Sweet. Even if it's fake, that's some good processed meat. <laughs> but anyway, Tantango gets to running again. It ends up sending both him and Tanjiro tumbling off the side of the cliff on some Looney Tunes shit. Tantango's pretty weak from those attacks earlier, combined with the fact that Mr. Angry is using up a ton of his power fighting Kairoji. So in order to get his strength back, he needs to consume human flesh and he sends to some people in the area. So Bro's just hitting a brisk morning jog like a neighborhood Karen looking for him. and ends up finding these three goofuses hiding behind these rocks. Bruh, oh dude. my goodness. Like, bro, which one of these dumbasses thought that this was uh, a good idea? Their conversation probably went like, Oh, golly, gee, those are some nice looking rocks over there. Let's go hide behind them. Good idea. Stupid. You got niggas fighting over there and you like, they got super devastating powers. You be like, nah, let's just, let's, let's just chill here and for me and just talk about the life. Might as well let's just shoot a podcast because they, they see them not look like, they look like they shooting oh, God, a podcast. The fuck they doing over here, man? These dumbasses thought that this was a good idea. Their conversation probably went like, Oh golly gee, those are some nice looking rocks over there. Let's go hide behind them. Good idea. Stupid. These boys gotta had a combined IQ of a McNugget, bruh. There's no telling me otherwise. Hantangu's- Bruh, I know I'm slow, but not that slow, but come on. These zoom and they start to run away. So he just starts praying on these niggas the same way Dre and Michelle prays on NBA rookies. Quick side note, Drea, if you seeing this, I volunteer as tribute. Are you serious, my brother? Hey, y'all should know by now. <laughs> Ain't no shame in my game. But mm. anyways, Tantro gets up and has no idea what to do. Since hey, man. Uh, it a win is a win, man. We were trying to hit. Come on. The sword is lodged 19 inches deep inside of Hantangu and he's running away. So this is when he asks the audience at home for help. Hola. Soy Tanjiro Kamado. And I need your help. This lame ass nigga is running away with my weapon. So now... I have no way to behead him. Do you know a way I could still behead him? Hmm. Oh, I know. Do you guys remember that box I used to carry around Nezuko? Mm. Well, I keep other things in it too. And I think my box may have just the thing we need to pack this nigga up. Everybody say, oh, boxy. Oh, boxy. Hi, everybody. I'm boxy. Boxy, we need your help to pack up this demon. Do you have anything that could help us? Of course! I have lots of items! Which one do you think will work the best? A bag of chips? A sword? Can I, can I get, can, let me get them chips. I'm, I'm not fat, bro. You can literally see for, for yourself, I'm not fat, so you can't call me a fat bag. Give me them chips, bro. Give me them chips! Or an RPG! Hmm. My black ass is going, if go for the RPG, but, uh, this, uh, the, yeah, the RPG is not gonna do nothing, yeah. Again, I'm gonna be borrowing your breathing style just this once, okay? America breathing! Are oh, you pull out the the the, the bleak? Fifth form! Get off my property, boy! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> nah, I'm just playing. What actually happens is Muichiro pulls up and tosses Tanjiro the sword that he used to pack up Kyoko earlier. So hmm. Tanjiro picks up the sword and his inner monologue was like, Put hands on one of them niggas. Hinakami Kagura, total concentration. Is it done? <laughs> Y'all can't tell me that was not clean. Yo, nah, they are tough. Top tier. I don't care what nobody say. So in one foul swoop, bro, the animation too. Like this, bro. This. Uh, okay, I don't. I don't want to get canceled. I don't want goofballs. Uh, some version ass niggas hit, hit, hitting me up to my like, bro. That was a wild statement. Isn't that you for me harassing me? I don't know, hacking my shit. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is that I was about to say, yo, bro, I'm not going to lie. We love, we love, like, we be saying, like, uh, Naruto for me. I'm one of those people that say Naruto is the best enemy. I ain't going to lie, man. With this rec with these recent anime, with these recent new animes, bro, this English is killing me, bro. Yeah. It, 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 I think it's, if it, like, in terms of, like, uh, on the, like, top five, number one for me was Naruto, but... I don't know. I think it might have to go down a little bit Tell with this. Me that was not clean. Come on, oh, man. Demon Slayer is top tier. I don't care what nobody say. So in one foul swoop, Tanjiro beheaded Hantangu. But the only issue is, even though his head is completely social distanced from the rest of his body, Hantangu yeah. is still alive and kicking. And at the time, Tanjiro doesn't even realize this because it's dawn and he's worried about Nezuko because the sun's rising. Huh? Oh, fuck! Nezuko! So Tanjiro's full on rushing to shield Nezuko from the sun, but Nezuko's just telling him to turn around because the three stooges are still in danger because they're getting chased by a headless Hantangu. So Tanjiro turns around ready to rush back in full force to save him, but stops mm. as soon as the sunlight starts burning Nezuko. So of course, he's gonna go back to save his only remaining family member, but the swordsmiths are still in danger. And he's just sitting there conflicted because he's faced with a damn near impossible oh, decision. Shit. Tanjiro knows he got set up by the writers. This just like when you get left with- Nah, they hold him. Uh, they got, they probably be mad at- this is weird because that's his literal sister. But hey, considering the, the anime community, bro, them, 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 the writers or whoever created Demon Slayer, bro, they made a hell that he's able to like hug a female. Fuck. Bro, this is weird. And that's his literal sister, bro. The ugly girl on the two man and your partner wants now they want to hold him to take one for the team. It's a lose lose situation, and you can just see the internal mental breakdown this man is having. He starts looking to his friends, but everybody else is too far away to help, so he knows that he has to be the one to save the villagers. He wants to, but he just can't. He can't leave Nezuko until. Huh? And y'all, I'm not gonna lie. My first time watching this, I shed actual tears. That's how invested I was. I'm like, ain't no way they came this far just for Nezuko to go out like that. Had me and that bitch bawling my eyes out like I was watching the Rengoku death scene all over again. But as he's in the air panicking, Nezuko makes a hand motion to Tanjiro as she's getting burnt alive, basically saying, it's all right, don't worry about me. Go handle that shit, bro. And in that very moment with tears in his... Nah, nigga, you gotta lock in after that shit, folks. Eyes, Tanjiro strengthens his resolve, staring down Hantangu with the most wicked look in his eyes. So I'm already knowing... This nigga gonna die. <laughs> Tanjiro hawks this man down. And with one slash, he cut through this nigga's entire body. Bro is running off straight adrenaline. All stats are maxed out at 99. Mm. Earlier, he couldn't even chop through his neck. But Tanjiro was not done. He split this man in two like Gojo revealing the main body and got to talking spicy. You will atone for your sins. <laughs> Keep God in your life, fuck nigga! And with that, Tanjiro was finally able to finish off Hantangu. And yeah, Tanjiro won the fight, but it was at the cost of everything. Couldn't even celebrate his victory. Bro just fell down to his knees at Walmart crying. Man, I feel not so hard. But luckily, Demon Slayer hit us with the biggest pump fake, the biggest plot twist of all time, and Nezuko is alive. How? Okay, okay. I really need to, I bro. I really gotta get my money up, bro, and build it like a a bunker or something so I can be able to do my rest, to, be able to do my reactions and scream as I want to, bro. <sighs> they finna piss me off, bro. How is she alive? How? The biggest plot twist of all time, and Nezuko <sighs> is alive just glowing and she's the first demon to ever conquer the sun y'all when i saw this i kid you not i got to celebrate in my room like i just won an nba championship or something not like jason tatum though we did it! <laughs> this had
had me feeling a roller coaster of emotions. Perfect way to cap off the arc for real. But hey, as always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop nah, a like. Nah, this was a W recap, bro. So you don't miss an upload. The Discord link is down in the description. So mm. join up. And this is crazy to say. Like, I couldn't have even imagined this happening. But we should be hitting 100,000 subscribers here Ooh. on the channel very soon. So I got a special video in the works. Nah, out. bro. This nigga too underrated. Nigga had me hooked. I literally said at the start of the video, I might be getting for me dozed off a little bit or for me or uh, but now nah, I'm locked in. And considering I'm a nigga that be forgetting a lot of things, I remembered what happened in this video. But anyway, bro, I gotta go. It's getting late. Call me Master Zang, cause I'm a flippy bands.